Hey guys, this is Fuberdooch, and today we're going to be taking a look at part 2 of 6 of the Platinum Edition Fall of Cybertron, Grimlock vs. Bruticus, and this is going to be Vortex. So as you can see, Vortex is kind of a, I suppose, a Cybertron chopper or something of that nature. As you can see, I do think that the paint scheme is better in this version than the Walmart or Target um, normal retail version, because that was like a weird bright yellow and red, it was just really weird. And on camera, this might look like a nasty sort of barf green color, but really I, I'd consider it more of a mustard. It's got a lot of metallic shininess in it, and that's not coming off very well. Um, just coming in close here, it's really hard to tell that this is not green. I mean, on camera here, it looks so green, but it's really not. So um, that's kind of deceiving. And then you got nice silver paint here, and that's metallic as well. You got a nice Decepticon logo. Nice blue, or excuse me, purple details here. Um, and overall, just very good. The bottom, you can see a bunch of crap, but uh, whatever. What are you going to do? Um, the helicopter propeller does spin very well, and I do like that, how that works. That's very cool. And um, the front here kind of has a gap, but you can take his weapon here and just shove that up in here. And it does peg in. It's really hard to see, but there's a peg in here, and then there's a peg out there. So... There we go. Sticks in there just like that. And that's kind of cool, but I like better to put it in the peg holes here. So that's what I'm going to do. You can just put it in there just like that. And then I have the other one here. And that goes in there just like so. And I think that looks pretty cool. So um, now we can do the size comparison. So setting Vortex there. Here he is with his buddy Brawl. And I'll get into this later, but I do think that all around Vortex is the better figure. Because Brawl's robot mode isn't as good as his vehicle mode, as you can see here. Just because his robot mode suffers a lot from kibble. But Vortex, as we'll get into after the transformation, doesn't suffer from that stuff. So taking away Brawl here. Here is um, the Armada Starscream Deluxe figure. And again, the same size are both Deluxes, so I think that works pretty good. Here he is with the only other chopper I have. Alpha Bravo. And there's supposed to be two totally different types of vehicles, so, um, eh, it's, it's okay, but it's not great. So to get him into limb mode, what you want to do first is just take these pieces off completely, like so. And then what you want to do is detaching this whole section here. This detaches, and it's on a double hinge, it's really tough. And then there are two pegs right here, and then there are two holes here and here, and that just tabs into place fairly securely and then you can rotate this bit and then separating this you want to flip out the hand and I'm going to keep it on a right hand you can flip the thumb around to make it into the type of limb that you want it to be and this doesn't want to close on me so yeah you can just rotate this and then flip the whole thing around but I'm going to keep them as the left hand so there is in limb mode and eh, it's okay it doesn't look bad but I feel like the articulation is going to be very hindered on this just because that's how far the elbow is. He, and then this doesn't spin because this bit here gets in the way. And I've tried a lot of moves, but the only way I've done it is if I rotate it like this and then you can do it. But I just think that looks kind of weird. So that's kind of unfortunate. But yeah. Oh, and one thing I did forget, sorry about the jump cut there, was rotate this down. There you go. And so then to get him into his robot mode, this came on tab, but this was tab in here. You can just untab that, untab that, excuse me. And this can just rotate in here like this. And that just goes back like so. And then you want to split these legs and rotate the hand in. Rotate these downward. Rotate this like so. And then you want to take these landing gear things and rotate them back. And they're really tough to do. There we go. They actually did well that time. And then you want to take this whole propeller, this rotates, and it just clips together like that. And you can rotate this whole thing, this red bit right here, all around like that. Then you can take this and split that, rotate this back up, and that just sits there like so. Split the arms like that, and then this whole bit comes up and just pegs into place like that. Take this black piece, rotate this down, rotate the head, and it is kind of tricky because it's kind of in a tight spot. Just kind of leave this, uh, I, I suppose that's a skirt thing there. I always thought that that was kind of weird. Um, you rotate this bit out. 
and rotate at the bicep. And there you have one arm. Same thing over here. Rotate this bit out. And there you have Vortex, more or less, in his robot mode. And I bumped my camera here. So here we have Vortex in his robot mode. And I have to say, he does end up looking better than Brawl, um, considering he doesn't have all that kibble hanging off. Um, now you might say, oh, what about the propeller? Well, yeah, you just kind of have to live with that. But overall, it doesn't look as awkward as Brawl did. Granted, this thing is pretty awkward, but eh, I can live with it. I just wish you could take it off, but you can't. So, uh, I don't know what to think of it quite yet. But his robot mode, overall, minus this thing, does look pretty fairly decent. Um, I'm, I, As I said before, I'm not a huge fan of this Hulu skirt thing. Um, but the chest, just a lot of good detailing. It's just really nice. And then the head is really nice. He's got nice yellow eyes. Just really cool. Um, the arms are kind of skinny. He, has, he hasn't been at the weight room for a while. But eh, it's not terrible. And he does have weird things here. Uh, on the back, you got a few options. You can put this piece all the way up if you really want to. But I would definitely not do that. And I just leave it like that. And that doesn't look too bad. Um, granted, this mm, is kind of weird. But... It's not too bad. So, back to the front here. Fairly decent figure. And then you can take his weapons here, and these just peg onto here. And I do like putting them like this. Or putting one as a gun here so this doesn't spin around out of control. And you can make these into swords if you really want to. So, I'll put a sword in one hand, and a weird looking bazooka in the other. So setting Vortex right there. So here he is with his buddy Brawl again. And as you can see, I did a few alterations to him. But yeah, they look pretty decent together. And he just doesn't want to stand. So yeah, not too bad. Again, I think Brawl is a lot more awkward in terms of kibble. Because, uh... So taking him off. Here he is with Armada Starscream. Yeah, they stack up fairly decent together, around the same height. And here he is with Alpha Bravo, the other chopper. This doesn't want to stay in all the way. But yeah, fairly decent. Hey guys, sorry about the jump cut here. I just totally forgot to go over articulation, so I'm going to do that real quick. So for his head, it's on a ball joint, but it's kind of limited due to these black bits here. So he can look very high up and not very far to the side, but you can get it around. Um, his shoulders are on a ball joint, so you get full range of movement there. And they go up, down, and all that good stuff. He does rotate the bicep, but it's kind of stiff. And he does bend at the elbow. He can bend backwards if you want. And nothing at the wrist. And so then he does rotate at the waist, which is nice. You can move the hip skirt up to accommodate for his legs. You can also move backwards. And he has a bicep, or a thigh, a thigh swivel, excuse me. He does bend at the knee here and there, so he's got like a double knee thing going. And that's it for the articulation. So, as for Vortex, my final thoughts. I think he is better than Brawl. I haven't gone through the rest of them, so I can't give you my opinion on them yet. But so far, he is the best. So, I believe that's all that is I'm going to say for this review. So, if you want to get this guy, I suggest looking in the description below. I'll put a link there if you want to buy this whole set. And so, this is Fubriduge. I would invite you to like, comment, and share this video if you would like to do so. And also check out some of my other reviews, and I'll put a link in the description below if you missed the Brawl review. And also you can check out some of the stop motion videos I put out on my channel. And this is Fubriduge saying, keep playing guys.